boys and girls, welcome to science. We are finishing up our pumpkin unit. We've talked the past couple of weeks all about these really awesome pumpkins. We've learned that pumpkins can be really different. They can be all different colors, like white. They can be black, they could be blue, they could be red. We've learned that pumpkins can be really big or really small. We've learned that pumpkins can be really, really smooth or they can be really bumpy. We've learned that pumpkins can be super heavy or really light. Last week, we started to learn about the parts of the pumpkin. And so we got to take a part of pumpkin. We got to see that on the outside of a pumpkin, they have skin. They also have a stem. Then as we cut open our pumpkin, we discovered the pulp. We discovered the strands. And then we looked at the seeds. So now that we know these different parts of the pumpkin, we are going to use this vocabulary knowledge to help us understand the life cycle of a pumpkin. We've talked about different types of life cycles. We know that every living thing has a life cycle. It's what helps it grow. It's what helps it reproduce. It's what helps it continue to go and go and go. It's the life cycle. So what we're going to do today, we're just gonna introduce some new vocabulary words. And then throughout this week, you're gonna to get to see how these different vocabulary words have meaning and they help a pumpkin grow. So as always, we'll review our word pumpkin. We know this word pumpkin. Then we also will continue to review the word seed. The seeds are gonna be very, very important for our life cycle. Here's another word, sprout. We're gonna talk about sprout. You can see this tiny little green plant that's sprouting, it's growing out of the ground. It's a sprout. We'll also use and talk about the word plant, pumpkin plant. Right now, this probably looks like any old green plant, but this is actually a pumpkin plant. It's very specific, it's what makes the pumpkins grow. We're gonna talk about a flower. Do you see this beautiful yellow flower? That's very important for our pumpkin life cycle. We're gonna talk about green pumpkins. Mm. Did you know pumpkins start green? And those colors change. We're also gonna to get to introduce some words like vine. Vine, it's what they grow on. We're gonna remind ourselves that pumpkins grow in a pumpkin patch. And then we'll also get to spend a little bit of time reviewing the words, gourds. So guys, all of these are vocabulary terms that are gonna be really important this week. Today, you're just gonna practice reading them, saying them, maybe try to select them if your parents ask you to select it. And then tomorrow, we're going to take these new vocabulary words and see why they're important and why they have meaning in the life cycle of a pumpkin. All right, friends, I'll see you soon.